Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen and grand colony in Nigeria. Our first person, Reverend Dr. Bartolomeo Agbechene, calling your attention to the fact that the day before yesterday or thereabout, I came up to the open airspace and uh, uh, talked about the ignoble broadcast of uh, Madam Temi Tokpe Eluyemi Balogun. I faulted uh, her call for Epic Charity Foundation a registration, which actually I made the whole masses to know that uh, uh, Temi Tokpe Balogun is completely ignorant of Epic. And uh, after having given that voice note, I call the attention of some notable people in the grant ecosystem like uh, Ustas the Wood to caution Temi Tokpe Eluemi Balogu, which he promised me he was going to do that. And today, when I visited uh, uh, my phone and uh, I opened my data, visited my phone, I listened to a VN from Temi Tope Balogun, and I thought the VN was in consonance with the appeal that uh, Comrade Ustaz Dawood might have uh, given her. But unfortunately, Temi Tope Oliemi Balogun went down the drain and buried herself completely. The job she went into doing, and so many people thought that it was a noble job. Temi Tokpe Balogun pushed herself completely into the abyss. From the VN of today that I listened to, Madam uh, Temi Tope Eliemi Balogun displayed three ignoble characteristics. Number one, on intelligence. Number two, falsehood. And number three, arrogance. From the way Temi Tope Balogun talked, I knew really that she is not intelligent and every enlightened mind will know definitely that she is not intelligent and quite unfortunately she claims to know everything when she would come up to do things she does not care for consultation you need to do consultations even the judges in Supreme Court, before they pass judgment, they run consultations so that uh, they don't give wrong judgments. Eliemi Balogun feels she knows it all, and little does she know that she is unintelligent. Well, unintelligence is not a grave sin it's not a grave sin it's not a grave offense somebody can be unintelligent and would be tolerated the grave sins that eluemi balogu temi tope eluemi balogu has committed that our grave are the ones I am going to talk about now. That is falsehood and arrogance. When you see somebody who lies, it's a terrible thing. If you are not intelligent, no problem, you could be managed. But by the moment you lie, you are a child of the devil. When you lie, Lying is a criminal offense. Lying is a criminal offense. A person of the caliber of Temi Tokpe Eluemi Balogun who came up to lead in the vanguard for truthfulness. If eventually she is found lying, 
then it is quite unfortunate. In this my VN, I am going to bring out areas that Tembi Tope Eluemi Balogun has lied right from Monday to today. Monday being 8th of this month to today being the 11th of uh, July, the same month July. Tembi Tope Eluemi Balogun is not intelligent uh, so we have decided to manage her in that area but she has added falsehood into the job she is doing she has lied and i'm going to bring her out to the areas that she has lied secondly she has come to display arrogance which actually i am going to express during this my talking she said in her VN today that I listened to that. The uh the listing the uh the, the VN that she issued concerning Epic the day before yesterday that she did not ask people to go and register. And I quote it directly from the words she spoke in her VN today. I did not ask you to go and register. And I will not ask anybody to register any grant in Nigeria. I still quote another word that he said again. He said, I did not ask you to go and register in Epic Charity Foundation. This way, the words that Temitokpe Eluemi Balogun said in her VN today, in her broadcast today. The question I ask the whole masses is Is Eluemi Balogun telling the truth here? Yeah? When she was talking the day before yesterday or four days ago, I don't know when she released that VN. Uh, it is uh, between uh, the day before yesterday and uh, four days ago. It is between eight or nine. Did she not ask people to go and register? Was she not persuading people to go and register? I will call her attention now to the VN that she released on the eighth or ninth. The VN that she released on the eighth or ninth that sparked up upheaval, commotion and hulabalu, pandemonium everywhere. These were the things she said. Number one, she said, I would like some of us to be part of this, your project. I am quoting her, verbatim, what she said. She said that she has met with the grand handler of epic charity foundation in person of professor opukumo barango and uh, she was appealing to her to give us chance so that some of us the us there is her and the masses to be part of her of his movement i directly lifted this from Javier. Those of you that have listened to Javier before, go and listen to Javier not again. You will see this phrase in that Javier. He said, I would like some of us to be part of this. That's number one. Number two, all the her indicting statement that she came here to deny and lie to the whole masses is that she also said that i want to tell the whole nigerians that the epic charity foundation grant is real madam temitope eluye niba you were not encouraging people if you were not advising people if you were not persuading people to go and register in epic charity foundation why would you need to tell us that it is real yeah. 
What were you looking for? What were you pursuing by telling us that it is real? Did you tell us that you were going to uh, uh, investigate EPIC? It is a UAG, you say you are going to investigate her, and everybody was waiting for UAG. And you did tell people that after UAG, you will go to other grant handlers. That was what me, I heard. You have not finished with UAG, and you are coming to tell laws of EPIC. What was your aim? Yes, yeah, since you didn't make your aim open, I am free to state why you say that you were persuading people to go for epic. And as a result of that, you saying that you didn't ask anybody to go and register in epic, you are a liar from the pit of hell. Point number three, statement number three, you said, Prof, open more doors so that we too can come in. That was what you were telling Prof in your VN. You were telling Prof, 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 please open the door. We want to come in. And you say, I want to tell the public. These are your words, so they are your direct words from your VN. People go and listen to his VN again. All these things that I'm saying, I am directly lifting them from his words. He said again, I would like to tell the public, find your way to their office to become their partner. You said this. If you are an illiterate, other people are not illiterate. There are enlightened minds in the grant community. And uh, you said, you said, find your way to their office to become their partner. And you came here and said that you didn't ask anybody to go and register. Tell me, talk about Eliemi or Balumi, you are a liar, you are a child of the devil. You don't possess the quality to lead the masses. By this, you have fallen. You are not leading anybody anymore. You are not leading anybody anymore. All the people that supported you from the beginning, they have backed out from you. And I'm saying this, anybody who still supports Temi Tokwe Eluyemi Balogu is on his or her own. Whatever befalls her will befall you. Yes, whatever, because this woman is a liar. She is not stable. She changes her mouth. She speaks from both sides of her mouth. She said in her VN, go and listen to her VN now. Her VN is there. And you'll find a place where she said, when she said, find your way to their office to become their partner. And the same person is coming here and say that, I didn't ask you to go and register in Epic Charity Foundation. She has lied. I will bring out two more evidences. She said again in her VN of the day before yesterday or thereabout, I would like every one of you to please subscribe to them with the sum of 50,000 Naira. Madam Temita Eluyemi Balogun, this was what you use your mouth to say. It is contained in your VN and it will stand against you. If you know the way to CDHR, CDHR is not meant for you alone. It is meant for every other person. With this your statement, you can be barbed. You can be barbed. If you are not intelligent and you hide yourself, nobody knows you. But it is when you bring yourself, that is when the breeze will blow and the foul nyash go come out. If you are not worthwhile 
and you hide yourself. Nobody will know your weakness. So. But by the moment you come to the public space and you are not careful, and what you used to do in the secret, you do it in the open. Breeze go blue and foul yash go come out. That is what is happening to you. So, so many enlightened minds, they know that you don't know anything. And as you don't know anything, you claim to know everything. Madam Tembitoko Eluemi Balogun, let me commit you by more of the statements you made during your broadcast the day before yesterday. You also said that if you have not subscribed to it, I have seen the document. This is not about somebody telling me. I went around yesterday and I was happy that I saw the truth. He says you have not to subscribe. Then what, what are you saying? What are, what are you saying? If you are ignorant of what you are saying, people that are hearing you are not ignorant. If the person that is talking is stupid, the person that is hearing is not stupid. You say you have verified, you have known the truth. If you have not yet subscribed, you should go and subscribe. And you are now coming here to say that you did not ask anybody to go and register in Epic Charity Foundation. Eliemi, tell me to talk about where you have come now. You need the lawyer. You need the lawyer. So that before you come up to the airspace to talk, your lawyer will coach you. You are displaying a lot of folly, too much. You are displaying a lot of folly, too much. You have lied. And you don't have the qualities to lead people. You don't have the qualities to lead people. That is lying. With this, people have known that you are a liar. You can lead people to the middle of the sea and cause the boat to capsize. And everybody will be drowned. If what you said the day before yesterday, you just come up today and begin to deny them. You are a liar. If you say you didn't tell anybody to go and re uh, register in Epic uh, Charity Foundation, you are a liar from the pit of hell. People heard you quite well. Even yourself, you heard yourself quite well. Some people had already started phoning you. Reverend Doctor, can you give us the direction to go and register in Epic before I quickly came up to the airspace. And when I came up to the airspace, I started getting avalanche of thanksgiving. Oh, the elder statesman, we thank you. We wanted to fall Mugu again, were you not by your voice note? If you want, tell me to Balogu. I will send some of those messages that I got from people to the airspace so that people will read. And as many as chatted me and thanked me, they are listening to me as I'm talking now. Eliemi, Temito Pebalo, is not everybody that can lead you. Before you lead, you should be self controlled, you should be disciplined. You should have some virtuous qualities. You don't have virtuous qualities. You talk pa, 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 like a parrot and anybody in this category. It does not waste time to commit blunders. Your blunders are in thousands. These few weeks that you have mounted up the airspace. Let me visit the second point of arrogance. Temitope Eluemi Abalogun is so arrogant. She is proud. She exhausts herself too much. 
and she doesn't have substances. If you have substances before you display pride, eh, eh, understandable. You don't have substances. When you talk and enlightened minds listening to you, to you, they can pick a lot of holes from what you are saying. And you will always like to come up to the airspace to stop. You are trying to bury your head in shame. Tell me talk about logo. Your VN that I listened to today, you said something, and I quote you directly from that your word. When you said, I have not done the wrong thing. I have not done the wrong thing. Let me read the complete statement. To you, I have done the wrong thing. But to me, I have not done the wrong thing. That was what you were saying. You were saying, to us, you have done the wrong thing. When you came up and you uh, and you and you released the VN the day before yesterday, and almost everybody in the world, let me not even call it Nigeria, everybody in the world started attacking you. And still yet you are saying that you have not done any wrong thing. That is arrogance of the highest order. <laughs> That is arrogance of the highest order. Even if what you have done is the correct one, and we are wrong, and all of us are shouting, pipe down a little, pipe down a little, and, and show some sign of humility. You are, not, uh, you are not humble. You are so proud. You are full of yourself by telling us, to you, I have done the wrong thing, but to me, I have not done the wrong thing. That means the wrong thing, that means you are greater than the masses whom you claim to be fighting for. That shows you are alone in this fight. You are alone in this fight. And you are calling people to come and do protest. You alone go to the go to the street now and do the protest now. You alone go and do the protest now. You say to us it is wrong, but to you it is not wrong, and nobody can stop you. Since nobody can stop you, I declare right here and now, nobody is following you again. Temi Topa Eliyewi Balogun, you have lost the battle. You have lost the battle. Authenticating grand adventures is a good thing. People who say they have grants to give, show us if you do if you if you have that grant. The grant you told us that the money is in Nigeria already, that you have secured and you collected money from us show us the proof that is a good move i like it i even hear some people mentioning my organization erroneously among those whom they want to verify and i am very happy i am very happy because a lot of people they don't know what i am doing they don't know my modus operandi I was happy. Tell me, Tope, Eluyeme, Balogu, when I heard that you were taking this move, what did I do? I came up to the airspace and I said, people should support you. Two of us. I said, people should support you. I want you to be calling names one after the other. Let my own turn come. Let my own turn come. People who are mentioning the name of my organization who don't know what my organization is doing maybe by the moment you bring me forward if you don't take time the complainant will become an accused person before you lead a vanguard of this kind take time and be informed be informed of what uh, volunteers refuge foundation worldwide is doing be informed of it you are not informed of it and you erroneously get into it you may put your head into the guillotine 
and you may not be able to come up. However, <laughs> if you say I should come up, I'll come up now. I'll come up now and defend myself. To defend one's self is not bad. That was why I told the people to support you. I am not against that. It's a good thing to be done. But it is in the hand of somebody that is a liar. Somebody that is deceitful. Temi Tokpe Elu Yemi Balogu is a liar. She cannot be trusted. I'm saying this now. <laughs> when people were going to UAH, they said UAH has money. UAH has money. I said, okay, I don't know. I don't know whether UAAG has money or it does not have money. But so long as Ken Wakama is the chief hemp's person, it cannot work. It cannot work. That was what I said from the beginning. People can bear me witness. I say so long whether the UAAG money is coming from UAS or coming from wherever i don't know i don't have information but with my relationship with ken wakama with my experiences with ken wakama ken wakama can never lead in a thing that will deliver ken wakama can never lead in a thing that will deliver if ken wakama is at the forefront that thing has already failed I don't need to ask any further question. That was what I was saying from the beginning. But right now, there are some people that their eyes are not yet open, but about 90% of the people that listened to me that time and did not care to uh, give hearing to what I was saying, they have understood now that what I was saying was the truth. It's the same thing I am saying. Verifying documents is a good thing to do. But it cannot fly in the hand of Temi Tokpe Eluyemi Balogun. Because within this small space of time, within one month, she has revealed herself, the kind of person she is. Who knows whether she might have even collected money from Epic to do that work for Epic. I don't know. But who knows from what is going on? So, so far, she is the person leading the vanguard for this. It can never fly. You know she is not educated and she, she does not know where she is. She thinks going to CDHR is the end of everything. In her VN, Herself, she has told us that the CDHR are mediators. They are not law enforcement agencies. They are mediators. So the work they are doing is a work of mediation. And because you have gotten to somebody who is mediating, you feel you are on top of the world. What will happen if you are able to lead people to the police? What will happen if you are able to lead people to the DSS? What will happen even if you are able to lead people to court? You have not gone there yet. You feel you are on top of the world. Temi Tokpe, Eluyemi, Balogun, you are so arrogant. And because of your arrogance, you cannot go anywhere. The CDHR, they are finding things. They are investigating. If they do the letter to presidency, and the presidency say we are not aware of this, the CDHR may call the police and hand over the case to the police for prosecution. For prosecution. The police will go to court. When they go to court, the case will be mentioned. They rather go to police for prosecution or they too, they can uh, uh, take the matter to court and the case can be in court for five years. 
he can be in the court for five years. Because you have reached this level, you feel you are on top of the world. You feel you are on top of the world. You are so arrogant by saying that to, to us, you have not done anything wrong. But to you, uh, to us, we have done so, you, are, you have done something wrong. But to you, you have not done anything wrong. You are telling us now that you are more intelligent than the whole masses. That is arrogance. And from the way you talk, people know that you are not intelligent. And you don't want to humble yourself. You are so arrogant. This arrogance is a grave, is a great antagonism to what you are doing. Number two area of your arrogance is when you say, I want to give you assignments. You are telling the masses that you want to give them assignment, a woman in the midst of able-minded men who are by far more intelligent than you. Is it because you voluntarily stood up and said you are going, what you did, every other person can do it. Every other person can do it. If you are in touch with the masses, before you open your mouth to say something, view the pros and cons. You are not intelligent to view the pros and Why will you say, I want to give you assignment? Give who? Assignment. Even what you are doing, did the masses give you the assignment? The masses did not give you the assignment to... You came out out of your own volition. Because you came out out of your own volition, you feel you are on top of the world. That is a display of arrogance. Arrogance of the highest order. You have shot yourself on the foot as I am talking. The number of people that hate you, you may not be able to count. Because of that word that you spoke, the way I feel about that word is the way several other people feel about it. I want to give you assignment. And the way we feel about it may not bother you. It may not bother you. And if it does not bother you, you don't feel anything is wrong with it. You are so arrogant. Tell me, Tope Balogun. Tell me, Tope Balogun. And you were saying again, let them submit documents to me and let me go and submit it to the government. What do you mean? It is still a display of arrogance. Is it because you woke up one morning and it appears as if the federal government has given you an appointment? No, you are as equal as every other person. Even if you want them to submit the documents to you, there is a way you would have coined your ways. You are so arrogant. You are so arrogant. Who does not know the way to see the HR? Is the CDHR the only avenue? Anybody who wants to do something may even dodge the CDHR and go to the DSS straight away or go to the police straight away or even go to court straight away and leave you where you are. Let them submit documents to me. To who? Do you know how to keep documents? Even if they submit documents to you, will you be able to know to know to know what the document is talking about will you be able to know what the document is talking about madam temitope eluyemi balugu i want to caution you to be careful i want to caution you to be careful in your arrogance again you say I will not change my mission because you are angry. If anybody is not happy about it, please keep it to yourself. Hey! Madam Temitokpe Eluyemi Balogu. He said, I will not change my Okay, if you will not change your mission because the masses 
are chipping in their ideas. You want you don't want to listen to them. Then you alone push it now. Why are you calling people to come and protest? People should come and protest on your own agenda alone. You don't view the agenda of other people. You say they should keep it to themselves. Yes, they are keeping it to themselves. Then you yourself, keep your own to yourself. You are not in charge of anybody. Everybody is independent. But when I stand here to tell you, you don't have the qualities to lead. Because you are a liar. You say something and you deny it. You are not truthful. When Ustaz Dawood spoke to you, instead of you to humble yourself and come up to the airspace to apologize, you started talking trash. Are you more than me? I went to Tioba now. I said a lot of erroneous things about Tioba. By the moment I recognized, I came up to the airspace and apologized. And accept people. Accept to people who, who know what they want to do. If not as many people as are of enlightened mind, they have forgiven me. When I was talking about Yoba, what of all grand pressure group that promoted the UAG erroneously? They equally came up and apologized. Who are you? Let me talk about Balongo. If you do something wrong, they say you should go and apologize. You say you don't care about what, that, what, what others are thinking about. You don't care. Then let them keep it to themselves. I declare right here and now, nobody is following you in that job you are doing. Of course, you have messed it up. And as I'm saying it, anybody who likes can still follow you. Anybody who likes can still follow you. <laughs> this was the thing I said about you. If you like, still follow Temi Tokwe Balogu. But what I know now, from Temi Tokwe Balogu, she's a liar. She's a deceiver. She's a liar. She speaks from both sides of the mouth. And so, she does not have any quality for leadership. Temi Tokwe Balogu, you, you also were saying we are coming after you. Abba. We are coming after you. Tell me talk where Balogun be humble for once. Coming after who? Coming after who? They're going to CDHR. You see, they're coming after somebody. The way you take somebody to CDHR, they can also take you to CDHR. If you say you are coming after somebody, somebody also can come after you. By the moment you bend down to look at somebody's nyash, another person is looking at your own nyash. By this VN, the day before yesterday, do you know that you are already in trouble? People are watching you. Anybody that goes to equity must do so with clean hands. Maybe you are not aware of what you are doing. You are not aware of what you are doing. You say you are coming after people to put fears in them who are you you are not intelligent you are not virtuous you are not holy you say you are tough. okay i am waiting to see people that you will come after and in your broadcast you were telling people to stop this nonsense you are addressing people stop this nonsense a woman an african woman you are telling people stop this nonsense even if they are doing nonsense is that what they, they told you from your parental upbringing to tell person nonsense to tell person nonsense <laughs> i stand here and now to declare madam tell me talk about logo from today you are on your own nobody is following you and uh, you have just started the journey. You have started the journey. The CDHR writing to presidency for information. What, what does that mean? That doesn't mean anything. When they get the record, the fight starts from there. And right now, please, Imabon, Imabon, you are in custody of about 90,000 naira that people donated for Madam Temitokwe Eluyemi Balogun. When I 
I, I became passionate of what she was doing, not knowing that she's a liar, she's a deceiver, and that she's pursuing an aim. Have you sent that money to her? If you have not sent that money to her yet, please, don't send that money to her again. You have the account details of people who donated that money to you, to send to her. Return those monies back to those people. To those good Samaritan, there were some people who donated 1,000 Naira, some donated 2,000 Naira, some donated 10,000 Naira. There are even some who donated 20,000 Naira, thinking that this woman is real, not knowing that she is a fake woman. Please, return those money. Right now, tell me to pay a Talokun is alone. Nobody is with her. If this mission would be reinvigorated, then there need be there need to be somebody who is honest, somebody who is straightforward. Good evening.